duck confit. One of those recipes that sounds really hard, super fancy. Every recipe you look at is gonna tell you that you need three quarts of duck fat before you can even do anything. One day I was like, you know what? There's gotta be an easier way, and this is it. First thing you need are duck legs. You don't have to buy a whole duck. These have so much fat in them that they're gonna render enough fat to submerge themselves. So the first step is take a sharp knife and you just want to puncture just the skin, trying not to go all the way down to the flesh. And then make sure to turn the legs over. You'll see on the underside, there's always this like fat pocket underneath. So make sure you give that a few jabs and poking these holes in here is just gonna help the fat flow out of the leg. So for the duck legs, they need to go low and slow. And cooking them comfy just means that it's submerged in fat. Maybe you've had garlic comfy. Delicious, garlic comfy in duck fat, that would be amazing. You could do chicken legs in duck fat, that would be awesome. The essential thing at this point is that you need to get salt onto the duck legs. You can omit the spices, do not omit the salt. So this is some black peppercorns, coriander seeds, kosher salt, and mix all of that together. Duck in the bag. You can see like all of the spices. I'm just gonna brush that off and we get a Dutch oven. They're gonna shrink as they cook. You can move everybody around and because you're putting a lid on the pot, it's all gonna be nice and moist and juicy in there. Nobody's gonna be uncovered in the cold. I'm putting these in fat side down. It's just gonna help the fat sort of run out. And what you're looking for is for there to be enough fat rendered out of the legs to come up to the top of the leg itself. Optional seasonings at this point. I really like the combination of ginger, chili, and garlic with the duck. Duck is so rich, and because of all that luscious fat and the crispy skin later, I like having these fresh, aromatic flavors. If you don't like spicy, please don't put them in the dish not worrying about skins or anything else. Just kind of encouraging everybody to give it all up in there, you know? Last thing, a little splash of water. In a dry pan, they might stick, and I'm going into a 250 degree oven. One hour has elapsed. So the fat has started to render. This looks perfect. It's cooking super gently. So now it's going back in, and in about another hour, I'll be able to flip them over. All right, now we're at the halfway, approximately two hour mark. I'm just gonna turn these guys over so they're skin side up, making sure that the meat is still submerged. You're likely using a smaller pot and that's good. You want everybody like nice and snug with the fat coming up around the sides. Just let it ride for two more hours and it's gonna be awesome. I have actually taken the duck legs even longer than this. So if you miss it by a little bit, you really can't mess it up. Seeing a little bit of browning on the skin. All the aromatics have given up all the love. See like how freely that leg bone is moving in the joint. This is just completely fall apart tender. This is what happens when you're the cook. Mm. So it's salty and it's rich and it's really, really moist. It's super delicious and it's only going to get better. Carefully, just getting these onto a sheet pan. We're just gonna put them back in the oven. So that browning is gonna take 15, 20 minutes, something like that. There's enough fat, they're not gonna dry out while they're in there. They're just gonna get crisp on top. It's gonna be awesome. And while that's going, I'm gonna strain all the fat. You definitely wanna hang on to it. Duck fat is one of the great fats, and it's so flavorful, and you can make vinaigrettes with it. You can use it the next time you're roasting vegetables. You can be really, like, super decadent about it. <laughs> super decadent about it. There. Oh my god, that is the color of the golden brown of your dreams. This is like pulley a party, shreddy, succulent duck covered in duck cracklins. Look at the sizzling, look at the bubbling. This is a beautiful thing. Going in with a spatula. This one has slots in it, which is good because there's a little fat under there. You can serve duck confit on top of salads. It's great in like in warm salads, especially. That right there is your easy duck coffee.